the New Orleans Bowl, and that pairs off Western Kentucky and South Alabama. Now, this is an interesting G5 matchup. South Alabama, currently a four and a half point favorite. This spread has been all over the place, trying to figure out whether or not Austin Reed was going to play in the game. That is the quarterback at, at WKU. Uh, South Alabama favored by four and a half. The total sits at 56 on this latest numbers at BetUS. It is Wednesday, December 21st at 8 p.m. Central Time. That is the kickoff time. Let's go on and pull up the stats, show you what we're looking at from week eight through the rest of the season. My numbers would have South Alabama favored by 1.69. This thing had, at one point, South Alabama was favored by eight when Austin Reed put his name in the transfer portal. When he pulled it back out, this thing has started to certainly creep back down. And I think the reason for that is Western Kentucky's offense is going to be able to have a little bit of success against South Alabama, I believe. South Alabama has not played very good teams towards the end of the season. Absolutely not. Um, and yet, they're still number 17 in PPA per drive on defense. Uh, Western Kentucky's offense towards the end of the year, number 57 PPA per drive. Like it, This team can put up points. That is certainly something to pay attention to. Net points per drive, a uh, very interesting uh, stat that they use over at bcftoys.com. But net points per drive, Western Kentucky is number 27. Uh, South Alabama is number 20. So, yeah, it's it's a very interesting uh, breakdown when you look at it. PPA margin, Western Kentucky number 43, South Alabama number 16. I like what Carter Bradley's doing with that offense with South Alabama. I like the wide receivers that they have. Um, it's it's a weird spot. I like what Kane Womack is doing, or Womack is doing, excuse me. Uh, Tyson Helton in that bunch, like they, they've been here before. They know what they're doing. Their defense is number 87 in PPA per pass uh, allowed. Excuse me. West uh, uh, South Alabama, their offense is number 32 PPA per pass, but they're only number 121 in passing success rate. So they were certainly better throwing the football earlier in the year. As far as running the ball, like they're not great. Number 93 in rushing success rate, South Alabama is. Uh, Western Kentucky's defense, number 66 in rushing success allowed. Now, standard downs PPA, South Alabama, number 13. Western Kentucky's defense, number 98. Uh, standard down success, Western Kentucky is number 97 on defense. South Alabama, number 39 on offense. Uh, you look at turnover margin, that, that favors um, Western Kentucky slightly. You know, number 22 to number 40. Penalties per game favors Western Kentucky here. I I think that I'm going to ride with the underdog in this spot uh, because I think Western Kentucky is going to be able to move the ball on this South Alabama defense. Uh, it's just whether or not they can finish the drives. If you look at uh, points per scoring opportunity, Western Kentucky is uh, number 114 at 2.95 per trip inside the 40. Uh, but they have uh, number 43 most scoring opportunities per game. At 6.17 drives get inside of the opponent's 40-yard line. Uh, South Alabama does not allow teams to score once they get down there. Uh, they're giving up 3.03 points per drive, or points per scoring opportunity. On the other side... Uh, South Alabama, they can finish drives. They just don't get into scoring position very often. Their offense is number 84 in scoring opportunities per game, but they're number 21 in points per scoring opportunity. Uh, at the same time, Western Kentucky, really good at stopping those scoring opportunities. Uh, they're number 14 in the amount of drives that get inside the 40, but they're number 83 in points per scoring opportunity allowed. So if South Alabama gets down there, they're going to score. It's just whether or not their offense can get down there. So I look at this as uh, I think South Alabama probably wins, uh, wins, but this feels like a field goal game to me. Uh, so I will take Western Kentucky plus the four and a half on that. Hey, if you like this video, go ahead and hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, and of course, jump in the comments. Thanks for listening to Winning Cures Everything. Make sure and subscribe on YouTube or your favorite podcast app. And make sure to leave a nice five-star review. You can follow Gary on Twitter, at GaryWCE. And the show is at Winning Cures. Be sure to check out the merch in our web store and share the show.